and happy holidays. I just made it back from LA from the BTS concert and we're getting into the festive season with my family decorating our Christmas tree, which I am super happy about. It'll probably be another super busy month with work and travel and good family times. So I hope you enjoy. Danielle's trying to turn on the lights on the tree and she can't figure it out. There's no switch on this? There's like this that has a single button. Wait, and nothing are you yet? sure there's no switch on this? Like, oh, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> it is definitely like leaning forward, it would seem, it but. Did fall over at one point. Danielle's already in her monkey pajamas. This is the family's favorite ornament that I made in third grade. It's okay, I'm just, just, just. We have this elf village from Costco that we've put up ever since we were children. And it is probably our best Christmas decoration. It's a good day because I just got my BTS concert vlog up. I stayed up so late the past couple nights trying to edit it to get it up in a timely manner. So I'm really glad and it was so much fun to look through all the footage and relive everything. It's a regular work day today, um, but we're nearing the holidays. So the lights are up in Union Square in San Francisco. So after work, I'm gonna try to do something fun and festive that is after I get my COVID booster shot, which I scheduled for tonight, so hopefully I'm feeling all right this weekend. Today, I actually had my end of year work review with my boss. I've only been at my current job for a couple months though, so it's not like we go over anything super in depth, but it was a really, really positive, pleasant conversation, which I am so, so thankful for. For those of y'all who have been following me for a while, you know that I was previously at a digital media company in a very creative role. Now I'm in a much more business oriented, kind of more administrative role at an even larger entertainment company that's not just in digital, but is kind of all across the board. But I was super, super intimidated coming into this role. I knew that a lot of people don't like it. A lot of people aren't cut out for it and they end up quitting pretty quickly. Not my company specifically, but kind of like the industry that I'm in has a pretty crazy reputation of just wild personalities people just being really really horrible to the assistants which is my role the lowest level at the company but I feel like I've been so so blessed to have an awesome department of people who are really collaborative and people who are just really out there to see other people succeed but it is really encouraging to think about what I thought this role might look like and then to realize what it actually is and also it's really fun to look back on even like high school or freshman year of college Joelle really wanting to work in the entertainment industry and it feeling so impossible and so out of reach to even conceive of working in Hollywood and it's one of those things where in those moments where I'm feeling really discouraged or I'm feeling left behind like people my age are making more money or getting bonuses or promotions or whatever and I feel like I uh <laughs> I'm not doing that. I think it is just really refreshing to think about rather than comparing myself with everyone else around me and everyone that I'm looking at who maybe works in tech or finance or consulting or whatever it is that I can look at my past self and see everything that I had to accomplish to get to where I am now. And uh, I'm trying to have that mindset especially as the year closes out and being really appreciative of where I am now rather than always feeling like I'm left behind or doing something wrong, which I think is easy to do when, I don't know, there's a lot of like end of year stress of like meeting goals, meeting deadlines and accomplishing things. And I definitely have some of that, but on the other hand, I'm trying to proactively take stock of what I have accomplished and what I have to be proud of. Yeah, Danielle was gonna go to this holiday party and bring all these snacks. Yeah, now she's not. So we just have all of these snacks for our family. You tell me they aren't delicious. You so these are you cannot. Uh, these are really cute though. They're like little shortbread cookies with pine cones printed in. This better. one is a reindeer. Wait, that's a reindeer? <laughs> Why does it kind of look like an armadillo with like deer legs? I don't think you've ever seen an armadillo. It's 
a video, you can say hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> Update from the COVID booster is that I actually feel pretty fine. My arm is sore. Um, I have like a little bit of a headache and like feel a little cloudy, but if it doesn't get any worse than this, I would say we're thriving. For those of you who have been watching my vlogs for a while, you know that on Saturdays I go and do this like hosting gig that uh, I've mentioned before. And this week is actually my last scheduled week because I told them I was probably going to move in, you know, the early 2022 and the holidays are coming up. So we just didn't schedule anything beyond that. And it's kind of sad. It's been really fun. It's been super awesome. Throughout being awake, my head has started to hurt a little more. My throat is hurting a little bit. So we're not feeling our absolute best, which is a bummer because one of my good friends, Noah, is in town and I was gonna try to meet him for SantaCon, which is like a citywide bar crawl where people just dress as Santa and it sounds super fun. However, my head is like pounding and I do not think I'm in a good place to go socialize and bar crawl right now. Rolly's out for SantaCon. I'd show you what I got Danielle for Christmas. From the container store, I got two of these large modular, like on counter makeup drawers. Apparently they just stack like so. They don't like lock into each other or anything. And I also got her two of the narrow drawers to stack on top because when I tell you that Danielle's bathroom is the biggest mess I've ever seen, I'm just like, this has to go. The system must be improved. But now that I'm home, I have about um, 45 minutes until my hair appointment. I'm gonna get a little cut, a little trim, and then do the roots of my little blonde parts. I didn't show the vlog my haircut yet. Uh, it looks so weird. They uh, messed up and cut my hair uneven and the guy had to even it out and it came out so much shorter than I expected it to. And I was really sad because I was telling my family that I was coming home looking like Edna Mode and then they were nice to me and said that it wasn't that bad and that it was chic. Oh well, I do like how the dye turned out but this is way shorter than I expected it to be, and I have to be at a wedding in a week. I don't know. So, oh, oh, it looks fine. Oh, wow. Good morning on this exceptionally wet and rainy San Francisco morning, which I actually love. I love when California has rain. I wasn't too thrilled about the hair last night, but I curled it and feeling slightly better. Shani is not happy that she just got wet from going outside, but uh, I think I'm just gonna try to have a chill and productive Sunday. It's the last Sunday before my company takes our break for the holidays, so I have a little bit of work I need to do. And also just, you know, the classic content creation things I try to do, but I love being productive when it's raining. It just feels really nice. These are the fancy cookies that mom and I made last night. They, they're kind of like cake. What do you think, dad? Mm-hmm. It's good, but never. Mm -hmm. 
sister outing to the mall because it's rainy. Hey. Oh my gosh, is that Jon Snow? Oh. Oh my gosh, it's the Night King. Is that what? Wait, these are really bummer looks for them. I remember loving these as a child. This does not look like the grin. <laughs> They're definitely old. Danielle's like, ooh, lush. Micah's like, ooh, anime t shirts. She's just one of us. Yeah. I remember her relatives. Today we're trying a new treat for Shawnee. These are probiotic treats. Sit. Down. 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 I'm set for the whole year, baby. Today I'm doing my hair a little bit and putting some makeup on for work because we have our all department secret Santa slash end of year Zoom call and can't show up ugly to the department call, you know? I'm just gonna curl my hair super fast. This is my look for today. Some hair, some makeup. I actually don't wear mascara when I'm working remotely because my lashes barely show up on Zoom anyways and I feel like wearing mascara daily, for me at least, causes my lashes to fall out. That was the most hilarious gift exchange. I'm gonna show y'all what my office secret Santa got me. One second. <laughs> it's a blanket with BTS on it. Super thankful. This has been a really awesome few months. It's really fun seeing everyone interact in these meetings. Like, yes, it's formal and yes, people are very professional, but at the end of the day, people are like, people are friends, which I feel like is so important. And you already know I'm gonna use this blanket heavily. I actually have to head out from work for an hour ish or so. I'm going to the dermatologist and everyone can say goodbye to this freckle. She's getting sliced out of my face because it has gotten bigger in the past year and darker. And though I know it's probably like not a big deal at all, I think it's just better to err on the side of caution when it comes to freckles and abnormalities in your skin. It's supposedly actually a pretty casual procedure. They just cut it out. I'm gonna get a couple stitches and it'll just leave a small scar. Post face slicing, post plastic surgery. This is the new look. Honestly, it was very smooth. They numbed it and I literally could not feel a single thing. It was actually kind of weird. They, they put a sheet over my face uh, for like sterilization purposes and just had that part of my cheek exposed that they're cutting into and I had no idea what was going on. It was a little stressful because I was like, mm, I can hear things but I can't feel it. But now I have this. It's gonna be on for 24 hours. I cannot really move the side of my face. <laughs> Hello, it is one day after my face surgery. Things are feeling a little bit sore, but I get to take off this bandage in a few hours, which I'm really looking forward to. It's the morning. Oh. Whoa. Where are they from? I have no know. idea. Happy holidays. Love your friends at Twitter. Oh, it's from Twitter. Why? Because we work with them a lot. These are so pretty. Wow. Just click it. Oh no, I dropped it. <gasps> what a pretty this bouquet. Is warm. What are you doing? I know, you're giving me that face because it's dinner time, huh? Honey's like watching me take this bandage off. We have to do it right now. 
Yeah. It's a little gross. You can see the threads. <laughs>